Come on. You really think King Kong is gonna win? What's up, nerd fam? This is your boy, Krishan. I'm gonna welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Today, we're gonna be talking about Godzilla versus King Kong. Now, the trailer for that just came out last week. Um, I don't really like to come out videos exactly when it comes out, I like to let it stew a little bit, but I wanna talk about it because everyone keeps talking about who's gonna win, and if you look at my shirt, I think you know who I'm really betting on, or who at least I think should win. Now, in the trailer, there's some interesting things that happened that I don't think did one of them uh, any justice, even though I know there were some theories going around about uh, what's going on with Godzilla here. So uh, let's just get into it. First, let's start off with who both of these guys are, just in case you've been living under a rock. Uh, so obviously Godzilla, I believe he debuted somewhere like the 1954 with Toho. He was pretty much uh, a prehistoric reptile that was affected by like the nuclear bombings. He was literally supposed to be like the physical embodiment of like the anger that Japan felt after Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki. And then about 20 years earlier than Godzilla was King Kong, which was created by I believe RKO Studios, right? Uh, the guy who made him had like a fascination with gorillas and stuff like that apparently. And he does originate on Skull Island, which has like giant dinosaurs and other big creatures on there. And obviously everyone knows King Kong for being the one that climbed up on the Empire State Building and then when the airplane and stuff like that were shooting him, he fell and died and stuff like that. And obviously with Godzilla, he's had tons of famous movies fighting other uh, giant monsters, Titans, Kaiju, whatever you, you want to call them, uh, like the uh, Mecha, Mecha Godzilla, uh, King Ghidorah, Mothra, tons of, tons of movies. And obviously the one in 2000s, whether you really like that one or you really hate it, whatever, that was there too. It's like a giant iguana in that one, right? Uh, yeah, so there's tons of movies from each of them. And as a matter of fact, this is not even the first time the two of them have even squared off. A lot of people don't know that. They did square off, I believe it was like a movie in the 60s where King Kong, once again, uh, was quite a bit bigger than he normally is because they need to size him up in, in, in order to even make him a viable threat to Godzilla. And if you watch that movie, I mean, obviously it was kind of campy, pretty terrible how they were moving around and stuff. It's pretty funny, I mean, it's the times, right? Which is the times, it didn't have all the technology available for that. But one of the key things that was a problem obviously was the breath, the blast, which we're gonna get into about their abilities in a little bit so you can understand as to why it doesn't make sense for King Kong to be giving him the hands the way he is in this trailer. So when you watch the trailer, there are certain scenes in it where, I mean, obviously you've got Godzilla doing his his shark impression, literally swimming through through a boat and then uh, getting punched up. No, he got punched and then like shoulder tackled off the boat, right? And then he does a blast from inside the water and then somehow like King Kong does his like Bruce Willis die hard impression and like dodges, dodges the blast and they gave him an ax later on in, in the trailer. And it's like Godzilla's getting worked this whole thing. But it's like, I feel like people have a bit of a short-term memory because if people don't know, this is part of the MonsterVerse, right? That Universal has started, which starts technically with the Godzilla movie in 2014 and then the Skull Island movie they made um, with King Kong, which um, takes place in like 1973 in that same universe. And then back to the present in the King of the Monsters movie. If you watch that King of the Monsters movie, you understand Godzilla is not like a T-Rex with like, short arm that all he does is fire blasts. Yes, firing blasts is definitely in his wheelhouse. But if you saw what happened in King of the Monsters, you understand that's not the only thing that he could do. He's quite intelligent. As a matter of fact, they kind of set that up, that he is very, very aware, and that him and Ghidorah, or King Ghidorah, whatever you wanna, you wanna call him, uh, definitely have fought each other more than once which is why there was such like a familiarity when they fought. As a matter of fact, looking at that fight, just from the eye test, is King Kong given the type of danger that Ghidorah would? And what was that danger? A whole bunch of, what was it? How many, like three, like three giant heads that could re regenerate, um, able to like siphon electricity, fire it, fire it back. Very, very hard skin, not fleshy and hairy like King Kong. Uh, and actually probably like 
100 feet bigger than King Kong himself, which is pretty crazy. Maybe a little bit less than 100 feet, but still, he was much bigger than King Kong. I mean, than um, Godzilla. And in that movie, it was like somebody taught Godzilla martial arts. There's a scene where literally he punches one of Ghidorah's heads, uh, gives him a, a leg, like not a leg kick, but like he spins his tail to hit Ghidorah in the leg and it turns back around and does like some infighting moves. Like takes his head, slams it to the ground, and like rubbing it up against all the buildings. He's doing intelligent moves. It's not like he's just moving around aimlessly and only firing blasts, which is what they're doing in the trailer. They, they kind of made it look like not as adept. Now the theory is that it's possible that Godzilla is not really Godzilla, that it's Mecha Godzilla. And I hope that's what that is because it'll be very uncharacteristic to what they just showed in the last movie. Because if, while I was referencing the earlier movie that they fought, King Kong had an immediate issue with just a blast. Every time a blast came, he was getting singed and he didn't want to be near it. So now Godzilla is bigger than he was before. His blasts are more powerful than they were because now it's almost like a freaking, like a, a final flash. <laughs> it's like a final flash he's firing. He's firing now. So it's not even just fire, it's like a radioactive wave, which means that there's no way he's coming out unscathed. We saw what happened when he hit Ghidorah, right? Ghidorah is like a, was like a big tank. This is a big fleshy monkey. Stop. Stop. Like, it, it doesn't It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. And obviously, they had to size him up. And I get why they sized him up. And I think they make sense in the story because they said that in the Skull Island movie, he was an adolescent, technically, in 1973. So I guess he wasn't really his full size yet. So now he's the full size, whatever. And the whole uh, theory that the, the axe is supposed to be made up of another, another member of Godzilla's family, which actually they they did explain in this other movie, I think it was like, I think it was like Godzilla Aftermath or something like that, where they talk about um, the Mudo Prime killed one of Godzilla's, um, one of his relatives, and maybe that's what you see King Kong standing in, in the, um, in the trailer. And there's also the whole center of the earth theory, which obviously could be a thing as well. I guess we'll see in March when this comes out. But yeah, based off of what we've seen in these last two movies, I don't see how Kong is really doing it. However, if this is not really Kong, and this is really Mecha Godzilla in disguise, and there's someone controlling, and they just can't do the same thing that Godzilla can, I get it. That would make a lot more sense. But I, all this stuff, like, look, he's a giant monkey. He's got opposable thumbs. He can hold stuff. It's like, it's not gonna, that's not gonna matter. It, it, it's really not, based on what they did, like, he's intelligent. And he's up, he gets more powerful with more radiation. Just the radiation that's just on, on the planet. He gets more powerful. Like, technically, King Kong would get hurt standing near him. Like, by what the, how powerful they've made him. So, yeah, it doesn't make much sense. Now, obviously, I think there's going to be um, more Titans that they're going to have to fight. Obviously, eventually, they're probably going to become friends. If that is actually Godzilla, or maybe he might come later on. Uh, and then we'll see who they really fight at the end of that. But yeah, I absolutely think Godzilla all the, all the way. Yeah. There was some other funny things about that trailer too. I mean, even in like the little like, <laughs> they show them both standing on top of a boat. How is that boat not sinking? How? How did they even tie up Kong and put him on this boat? If he's bigger than he was before, how did they capture him? There's some things that don't make any sense here. However, I'm going to be down with it because I love watching giant monsters, robots, whatever, fighting, which is why I like the King of the Monsters movie because whoever made that movie clearly was paying attention to the older movies and understood what fans of that want. Mindless monster fighting, which I think we're gonna, we're gonna get here. And if you have HBO Max, that's definitely gonna be a treat because March is gonna be crazy because I think it's that movie, Godzilla vs. King Kong and Mortal Kombat, either that comes out, actually no, I think it comes out in April. March, I believe is, the Snyder Cut, right? I could be, I hope I'm right. I think, I think I'm right there, whatever. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to this movie. I hope you are. I just wanted to clear it up. In case you thought that King Kong was gonna win this. Doesn't matter how diesel he is. He's pretty diesel, looks like he was definitely lifting up something in there. But also to think about, on Skull Island, he was having a hard time fighting, fighting these monsters, the, the little lizards, the, they had no, they didn't have half the, the capability that, that uh, Godzilla had. And he was getting worked by them. 
something completely a little bigger all of a sudden it's supposed to change stop stop and in the trailer another thing that bothered me about the trailer when you see him jumping in the air and godzilla fires and then it goes directly to the axe why wouldn't godzilla just aim at the largest common denominator the largest surface area which is his body i mean it's not like it's his first time firing remember Ghidorah, huge like he didn't aim at one of his heads like he kept it at the body and that axe you think that axe is deflecting the blast that came out of it like i said final flash that's what it looks like or uh the genosaurs from um from zoids like when the little tail was spinning and he fired it whatever different thing but yes uh let me know what you think about this if you're like yo king kong is winning or no i'm right with you there godzilla's gonna win either way i'm excited to see this whatever let's get ready to watch this movie into the nerd